shapeless and omnipresent, and his spirit is one katanka, the great mystery, and darkness also exists. Indian longs to exercise his power on his compassion, so he creates another dream as part of himself in order to keep control of his power. This dream is moral or macaque, but in doing so, he sacrifices blood, which becomes the water, and he shrivels up and becomes hard, losing his power. The water cannot retain the power and goes into the making of skunk, the sky. Maka meanwhile complains to Indian that all is cold and dark, so he creates amp, the red light. This is not enough for her, so he creates Gi, the sun. Maka now wants to be separate, not part of her creator. Indian can only appeal to Skank in his role as a spring judge. Skank rules that Maka must stay bound with Indian, which is why rocks are bound up with soil. In another version, Indian loses all his power when he meets Maka and she taunts him with his impotence, so that he appeals to Skank. Skank then banishes Khan, darkness, and creates Amp to light the world. When Maka complains that she is still cold, Skank creates Gi the sun. Maka now complains that she is too hot. Skank therefore order Khan and Amp to follow each other around the world, thus creating day and night. When the trail of the chill start in 1838, the mothers of the Cherokee were grieving and crying so much, they were unable to help their children survive the journey. The elders prayed for a sign that would lift the mothers' spirits to give them strength. The next day, a beautiful rose began to grow where each of the mothers first fell. The rose is white for their tears. A gold center represents the gold taken from the Cherokee land and seven leaves on each stem were the seven Cherokee clans. The wild Cherokee rose grow along the roots of the trails of the tears into eastern Oklahoma today. In this important myth, two braves out hunting see a figure approaching from a distance. It turns out to be a beautiful woman in white clothing. One brave recognizes her sacredness and warns the other against trying to have his way with her. Nonetheless, the foolhardy brave approaches the woman. He and the woman are enveloped in a white cloth, and when it lifts, all that is left of the brave is a pile of bones with snake writhing among them. The woman comes to the brave's village and presents them with a sacred pipe. She shows them the all-important ceremony of the pipe. She also tells them of six other rites that will be made known by the tribe in time. Then she goes away, turning into a red and brown buffalo calf, then a white buffalo, then finally a black buffalo.